show that the set H is given three components like this where x1, x2 are real numbers okay, they in R is a subspace of R3 so we want to show H a subspace of R3 uh, instead of proving showing those three conditions needed for a subspace uh, we can use a theorem we learn in class so in R3 if we have uh, let's say two vectors or it can be three or it can be uh, four doesn't matter suppose we have let's say v1 v2 two vectors and if we write a if we write the set of all linear combinations that's called span of v1 v2 then this is always a subspace of r3 okay so i'm gonna use that theorem so i can write this element okay this element is follows x1 minus x2 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 minus 3 x1 in terms of parametric vector form because i we got two types of variables x1 and x2 so we can factor x1 out some vector and we can factor x2 out some vector let's see very first entry x1 there's one copy of x1 there is no x1 so zero and there is negative three x1 so negative three for x2 is a negative one x2 so negative one there is one copy of x2 and one x2 okay so this generic vector in H is in fact a linear combination. It's a plus linear combination of these two vectors, one, zero, negative three, and negative one, 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 where x1 and x2 are any real numbers. And this is in fact, this collection, this collection is in fact, if we vary x1 and x2 over real numbers, that's the span of these two vectors okay so if we say this one v1 vector and let's say this is a v2 vector then this h is in fact span of v1 and v2 where v1 and v2 are coming from r3 okay because these are the all possible linear combinations of v1 and v2 because x1 and x2 are arbitrary constants arbitrary real numbers so as soon as we have span of some vectors then this is a subspace implies h is a subspace of v1 v2 comes they come from r3 so r3 and that's what we wanted to show done